Hey, hi there, Aries. Welcome to my channel. And thank you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming through for your weekly reading, February 10th to the 16th. This is a condensed general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me a lot, and it helps to bring your vibrations into the future readings. I also send out my intentions for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Aries, off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis and the background. The King of Swords, Aries. This is an air sign person, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Doesn't have to be a man. This is a general reading. This person, they're a real overthinker. They're a stern figure. They're involved with mental work. They might seem blunt and abrupt, but they're a good counselor and they speak with eloquence and they can give you sound advice. They're fair and always speaks the truth. So listen for the correct approach. This person, they're objective and logical. They're intelligent and fair. They're authoritative and assertive. And they also seem emotionally distant it's just that they work with their mind so much. They're a mastermind with an analytical mind and intellect. And they use that in pursuit of truth and justice. And they are a direct communicator and an absolute professional. His decisions are based on careful thought. And he knows his own truth. He will not bend to peer pressure or societal norms. He's assertive and he can even be aggressive in the pursuit of justice. He is ethical and he does not sway from what he believes is right. Your second card, and this is the energy crossing over your path, it can be a challenge. The Nine of Wands, Aries, fire energy. This is strength and determination. Might be feeling tired. This card represents perseverance. There's attainment and completion and also reflection. This is strength to overcome troubles. You might be confronting some difficulties, but this is the end of a cycle and it's victory through courage and endurance. This is also a pause in the struggle. This is eventual victory, but steady force must be applied. If there's anyone opposing you, they're going to fail because you're strong and you have courage and you're standing your ground. And through effort and determination, You've defended and protecting what's yours. There's recovery. You're in a strong position. This is, this is wisdom and strength gained through experience. But you have your defenses up. And you're trying to protect yourself. Maybe it's because you know what to expect. But many times people will react differently and surprise us. So be wary of self-fulfilling prophecy. If you expect the worst, then that's what you'll end up getting. Everyone makes choices. You still have strength and reserve. Your third card, and this is how it affects you, can be your attitude. The Four of Pentacles, Aries, Earth Energy, you're holding on. 
another defensive card. You're being cautious and trying to be stable. But you might have a fixed attitude, but that would limit and block new opportunities. You're protecting your money and your boundaries, but the advice is to go with the flow because your foundations are firm. You might be holding something back. You might be in danger of becoming too stingy or holding on too much to feelings and not letting go. The advice is to be generous in wealth and spirit and you'll be cultivating your best talents. Your fourth card, this is the future card, the results, the outcome, and the advice. The King of Wands, Aries. This could be you, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This has to do with honor and vision. This is an influential and independent person, and he helps those who cares he cares about. You can rely on his honesty and intelligence, and he's loyal and fair, and you're sure to get good advice. Two kings also represent minor counsel. If this is not an actual person, which more than likely it is, this can refer to a situation which is exactly as it appears to be with no hint of deception and an indication that good fortune is coming your way. It could be in the form of unexpected help or advice, good news, a promotion, or an inheritance. Or you could be spinning something around in your head. This, this might be the right time to advance your goals and explore your possibilities. Your fifth card is the bottom of the deck card. This is the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The Ace of Swords, Aries. This is air energy. This has to do with, the air energy has to do with the intellect and the mind and the thoughts. This is love of truth and justice and spirituality. Swords express boldness and courage and can indicate strife. The Ace of Swords is truth and a new beginning. There's clarity and realization. This is a brand new way of life, a major breakthrough. This is a new direction in life and it's going to bring prosperity, recognition, and spiritual growth. This is having triumph over difficulties. So grasp this opportunity. It's a spark. This could represent communication Maybe it's also something that why it might have been a bad situation that looked bleak. It can surprisingly turn out to be extremely promising. A sense of inevitable change comes with this card. This is a card of great force and strength. So build your strength against adversity and you are strong and study all aspects of the problem carefully and do not make any rash or hurried decisions. You're going to benefit from this new clarity. It's an intellectual awakening and invigorating ideas. Could be inspired studies, a passion for principles, no new ideas they demand honing and polishing your powers of concentration are going to intensify and now new perspectives emerge and with them new convictions so seek and seize the truth thanks you guys now stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up take note for this is key to allow the universe to move you to happier and better things look around you and appreciate the good things you have right now 
Count your blessings in the here and now. When we dwell on dissatisfaction, it roots us to the position where we currently are. When we feel appreciation for what we have, we attract happier and better times. Remember, we are magnets. Appreciation attracts appreciation. All we have to do is ask and believe, and that gets us on the receiving frequency of goodness. Thanks, you guys. Now remember, what goes around comes around, and I'm sending you out love and light. Thanks for watching.